It's amazing to think that there's that big of a difference between the zero water and bottle waters and every other filter. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on the zero water filter. Now, essentially it's kind of like a Brita filter. Brita filters are, you know, the main ones that people know. To give you a little backstory on how I even got into the zero water filters, why I even bought a filter in the first place, I would either get water at my work or at my house. I rent a room and I don't think that they're changing the water filters very much because it's gonna get really expensive. I've never heard anybody talk about it. So for some reason, I just wasn't really thinking, but that water filter probably hasn't been changed. So for some reason, I just kind of got lazy. I was like, oh man, it's just cheaper to fill up water here at the house. I'm just gonna keep doing that, which actually happened to be probably tap water. It was from what was something that was normally filtered, but it wasn't filtered. All of a sudden, I started getting these headaches. I attributed it to a lot of things. There was a lot of little stuff, you know, posture, eating, eating too much salt, looking at screens too much. There's a lot of things that could have been causing the headaches. But for me, I found it kind of weird because I used to get migraines a lot when I was a kid when I wouldn't drink as much water and do a couple things. But in my later years, if I do a, you know, a specific routine of things, I almost never get headaches at all. And all of a sudden I was getting headaches all the time. I was feeling them come on all the time. And I attributed it to the tap water. So what I did is I bought a Nike filter and this is the filter that I got before the Zero filter. Now the Nike filter, it advertised that it filters really fast. People would say that the Nike filters, it tasted really good and things like that. But the problem with the Nike filter was is that it's not going to ionize the water or pH balance the water. It was just going to filter the water. And the whole time that I used the Nike filter, it always had a taste to it, which it didn't really taste like chlorine or taste like chemicals, but I'd always have a taste to it, which I didn't like. And after I ordered the Zero filter, I did a little test because the Zero filter gives you a little TDS meter to see basically the particles in your water. I think I was using the Nike filter for around three weeks. I bought some extra filters, but I had only used the one filter. I believe I did a TDS testing on the water and it was exactly the same. So I don't know if that filter needed to be replaced or what, but basically it was only supposed to filter out things and the Nike filter looked like it was filtering out nothing. And on top of that, I could taste the water and on top of that, I was still getting headaches. So if I needed to go overkill, I needed to make sure that I am getting filtered, filtered, filtered water. So I didn't want to go with zero water just because it does not pH balance your water. And in normally water is supposed to have some sort of electrolytes in it. And the zero water, as you may know, is supposed to bring the water to zero, meaning there's no particles in the water at all. And then I watched another video where they did the pH uh, test on the zero water and it was like 6.9, which is a little low. The pH balance of your body is supposed to be between 7.3 and 7.4, right around there. So it's a little bit acidic. By drinking the zero water, you're going to make your body more acidic, which I don't really like. So there's other supplements you could take to help the alkalining thing. I think the headaches were caused by the tap water and I wanted something to take absolutely everything out. And I gotta say that my headaches have actually gone away since I've started using the zero filter. So it was mainly the water as I suspected because although I did some other stuff that should cause headaches, it wasn't giving me headaches and I was getting them all of a sudden and it makes sense. My TDS where I live is about 200. It's higher than I would want it to be. The jug that I take my tap water to put inside my zero filter, once I use that for about, you know, seven or eight days, the entire jug smells like chlorine. It smells like chemicals, which is amazing because I didn't do anything extra. I did not put chlorine in there. I just used just literally water. Water is used to purify things. So I used basically the most pure thing that I could get and it reeked of chemicals. So that really scared me and that's probably why I was getting so many headaches. So the pros is that it has pretty much the best filtration. It's gonna filter out as much of everything. I think most of the filters, they say they only filter about 1% of fluoride. Fluoride was the main thing that I was interested in filtering out. I think this filter is supposed to filter out about 96% of fluoride, but it's kind of weird. I don't know if fluoride does not show up on that particle tester because the particles go to zero, so I don't understand how there could be any fluoride at all. But essentially, this is the best, uh, like if you want it to be filtered, you don't want anything in your water, guaranteed get this filter. If you go and check out how much filters actually filter out, it's less than half of everything in your water. 
I mean, that seems terrible. You're, you're buying a water filter and it's going to filter out less than half of all the crap that's in your water and they put tons of crap in there. And you could go into the, you know, oh, is it a conspiracy or oh, it's whatever. I mean, they're putting it in there because pipes aren't natural. So things are going to grow in the pipes. So you need to put a little bit of something in the water to make sure that nothing grows in the pipes. I get you. I still want to filter it out. And it's amazing that you, know, you think you're buying these filters and it's actually really expensive to make sure your water is fully filtered that Almost no water is correctly filtered unless it's actually in a bottle, which is just insane. It has a pretty good price for the base model. I'll get more into the price of the filters in the cons, but the base model was very, very cheap. I think it was about $20 online. I was actually popping around Home Depot the other day with my buddy and I saw this going for $30. So it was marked up a little more, but that's nice to see that Home Depot has it for somebody who's, you know, maybe they don't want to wait online. You know, when you need clean water, you need it now. So if you want to go out the door and buy one, or if you're like an older person and you don't want to mess around with anything online, you know, just call Home Depot, see if they got it. But uh, I think this is an amazing amazing place to start with filtered water I think people think they get a Brita and you don't really need anything else besides a Brita I think that's very incorrect especially after what I've seen and even the better Brita's still do not filter out more than half of the stuff inside the water which is insane and then the last pro is that my headaches went away which is amazing because I was getting these things all the time and now they're gone and it would make sense because the migraines so I was getting these migraines that would last almost like sometimes almost like a couple days which is never would happen before when I was a kid if I was a kid and I went to sleep when I had a headache it would be gone so it makes sense because I was probably constantly drinking the water, which was giving me the headaches. So if the headaches are gone, those are the pros. Okay, the cons is that it has slower filtration. It's not going to filter as fast. I do want to say that at the very bottom of the water jug is a little thing where you could press and it'll drip out water. So if you are like filtering water and you don't want to pour it because the water is being filtered, you could go down at the bottom and hit the little button to get uh, water that's already been at the bottom. So I really did like that feature because it is a very, very slow filtration, but you want water to be filtered correctly. And if this is how fast it's gotta be, that's how fast it's gotta be. You could say it's fast if it's not filtered. Well, what's the point? Why, I don't care if it's fast. The filters are about $15 for one and one does not last me very long. It lasts me about, I would say the base filter that I got lasted me about 13 to 14 days. And then I bought a pack of two recently and it seemed like the first one lasted maybe a little bit longer than two weeks, like a hair or like a little bit longer than my first filter. But this new filter seems like it's almost going dead and it's only almost been about a week. So it is actually pretty dang expensive to keep all your water filtered, especially if you got a multiple people drinking water. Now, personally, I drink tons and tons of water. I also put it in um, drink mixes, but then I also fill up water at my work sometimes. So for one person to go through one filter in two weeks, it's pretty crazy. And it starts to taste really bad, so you know that the filter needs to be replaced. So this is a great place to start because all the other filters aren't really worth it. It's actually almost price effective to go get, you know, like in front of the supermarkets where they have those big things of water. I would say that might be the absolute cheapest option because they have a very, very low TDS and it's very, very affordable. Like it's for me, it's about 30 cents for a gallon where I live. And when you consider that two weeks for $15, that's not even all the water that I'm drinking. If I had used only the zero water, it might even be a little bit less. So I would say that's probably the most price effective, but it is nice to own something to where you can make any water completely pure. Most of the time you cannot do that. Who do I recommend this for? I think this is a great place to start for anybody. I do not think it's the end all be all. I do think that and there has been lots and lots of studies about how great it is to have a pH balanced body and how almost all illness could be related to very acidic things in your body or not having a balanced pH, things like that. The first line of defense is getting all the chemicals out of the water. Most people think that it's a very easy thing to do. You just go get a filter and that's it, but that's not it. And I do recommend this as a very, very good place to start, especially if you're somebody who you're traveling a lot, you have access to a lot of different tap waters, but you want really, really good water. For a bottled water, I think it has to be below to TDS, which is like nothing. When you're actually filtering water, you're almost filtering out almost nothing. So your TDS is probably like 100 or 150. So it's amazing to think that, that there's that big of a difference between the zero water and bottled waters. 
and every other filter. But hopefully this video was educational and hopefully this video helps you pick a filter out. And if you're getting any sort of headaches or any sort of issues with your water, definitely check this out. If you're wondering if your Brita is strong enough, if your other filter is strong enough, I definitely think it's worth some more research and I do recommend this as 100% a great starting point. In the future, I will be looking for something maybe just a little bit more perfect with that pH balance. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.